So things we need to know today. So this is the Canvas site that you can see. I just wanna draw your attention to a few different things. So the first is the syllabus that I've updated. So if you look at the updated syllabus, other stuff here. Okay. If you look at the updated syllabus here, what you should see this is all the same. How you're going to be graded. So what I want you guys to know is that the grading is not really going to change. So your quizzes are still 22%. You will still have a quiz almost every week. Uh, laboratory worksheets are not going to change. That's 22%. You'll still have laboratory worksheets. I'll go through what those are going to look like. The exams are now going to be online. So the, the practical is not uh, necessarily practical in nature anymore. Um, there are going to be two online exams, one next week and one the last week of classes. For the exams, this is the one time that you have to make sure you log on during class time. So then again, on the exams, you have to make sure you log on at 125 because the exam, is, which is all multiple choice, will go live at 125. You will have 30 minutes to complete 40 multiple choice questions, and then it will close. So if you are late, you're just eating into your time. So you have to make sure you are there at 125. The practical exam for this class, again, it's 40 multiple choice questions. Most of them are pictures of slides or pictures of bones from your bone box. For the slides, it'll say, some questions are as simple as, what tissue type do you see? What organ is this tissue sliced from? Or it might have parts of the, the slide circled and it might say something like, what is in the circle? When we looked at things in the trachea and the lung and the skin, we broke it down into different components. So those would be asked. I'd also have some questions about function. What is the function of this tissue type? What is the function of the thing in the circle? Um, all of that. For bones, same. Some simple questions, what bone is this? More complicated questions, is this a left bone or a right bone? There aren't too many of those because you can't pick the bone up anymore and like wave it around. There are a few. Um, is this on the proximal end or the distal end of the bone? Those sorts of things about where the bone goes. And then there are questions about bone landmarks. So is this part that's labeled? What is the name of that landmark? What is the function of that landmark? 100% of the questions, again, come from worksheets one through seven. So you have about 25 questions on there that have to do with pictures of slides and pictures of bones, and about 15 questions that have to do with other things that were in those worksheets. So make sure you study all of those worksheets, worksheets one through seven. Okay, now, participation. The participation and attendance points have now closed. So they're gonna be counted on whether you showed up to class um, and we're on time for class before spring break. That will be your participation attendance points. You do not have to come to these little WebEx um, intros. You will not be graded on whether you're present for the WebEx intros. I just want to use it as a time to make sure I'm available and we're talking about what you're going to do each week. Worksheets um, will, as I get to them, I will open them up. You will have a certain amount of time to do them and you will submit them onto Canvas. Same with pre-lab quizzes, we'll still be on Canvas, okay? Um, let's scroll down to the rest of the semester. So here we are, March 25th. We're having like a virtual WebEx session and all you have to do is, this week is study for your practical exam. Next week, April 1st, exam one, again, starting at 125 on campus. The week after, we're gonna do one week of muscles then one week of the nervous system, one week of your senses, and then a final exam on those three topics, okay? Um, it, it's fast because we lost a week with that extended spring break, and I felt like it would be mean <laughs> to have this week be your practical exam when everything is so up in the air. So instead, we're gonna condense everything down into three more worksheets. I have finished worksheet eight. I have not done worksheets nine and 10. So stay tuned for that. Where you can find all of that is if you go to your assignments page. Okay, so you've, we've done, this is, I'll close that one. That's just pictures to help me. So upcoming, again, 
on April 1st, this will become available. You'll be able to do your midterm. What is due April 8th is the chart. So when you click on Worksheet 8, um, you will be able to download a PDF. And when you do that, what you'll see is that the first part is this giant chart of muscles. What I want you to do before, or the first part I want you to do as a pre-lab quiz is to download this and fill out these first four columns of all these muscles, all these muscles. You can print it out and handwrite it. You can type it. You can make a new little chart and type it out. And you're going to submit that on the top, submit that assignment. Okay, so it can either be a media recording, which is a picture from your phone, or a file upload. So you're going to complete the entire table. Then, what you're going to do is for the actual worksheet eight, you'll come to this assignment tab. And what you're going to do is you're going to draw me a, a human. You're going to draw a front person and the back of a person, and you're going to start by drawing the bones. And these are the bones I want you to label and draw on the front side and on the back side, what they look like from the front and what they look like from the back. So you're going to draw two skeletons, an anterior view skeleton and a posterior view skeleton. You're then going to take each of these muscles and draw on where those muscles go. Now, if we were doing this in lab, you were going to have uh, yarn available to you to make it look really pretty. And each color yarn was going to be a different action and we were going to tape the yarn where the muscles go. Now, if you have a lot of yarn, go for it. Get the yarn. If you don't have yarn, please do not rush out and try and find yarn. Use what you have available to you. If you've got colored pencils, use colored pencils. If you've got markers, use markers. If you don't have anything, just write in pencil what the color would have been. Okay. And again, the colors mean the action. So for example, if your first muscle you're starting with is the muscles of the arm and you want to do the biceps. The bicep is responsible for flexion at the elbow. So you would go down to the key and you would see that that muscle is supposed to be red. So where the bicep is located, you would draw a red line and you would label it biceps. Okay. You're going to do that for all of these muscles on the anterior side and all the muscles on the posterior side. Okay. And then you're going to Take a picture of your little skeletons with lines all over it and submit it up here for submit assignment. Okay, so again, you're going to use this instead of colored yarn, you can use markers, colored pencils, highlighters. Where it says string, you're going to draw a line and you're going to label it. And it can be on anything. If you have butcher paper, go for it. You got one of those old poster boards, do it on that. You got handouts, go for it. Tape them together, try and make it a little bit big. Be creative. Okay. Um, and don't forget, we've got lab manuals to help you figure all of this out, and you're going to upload to Canvas. The skeleton is due by April 9th at 1.25, so you've got a full day to get the skeleton together. You can also work on it now, okay? Go back to the assignment. So that's going to be for the following week. Next week is your practical. The week after is this worksheet eight. I have the pre-lab quizzes up for 9 and 10. I have not <laughs> finished putting those together yet. So when I do, those will be available. Again, that worksheet 9 is going to be about the nervous system. Worksheet 10 is going to be about your senses. Okay. I'm going to create, if I haven't already, a discussion board. Oh, yeah, I have a discussion board here. Comments or questions. If you want to talk to your peers about things as you're working on them, this is a good place to do that. Okay, I'm not going to moderate it or grade you on your participation in it, but it's just a space where you can talk to each other. Okay, and now I'm going to unshare stuff here and come back. Are there any questions that people have? Question you can put in the chat or you can unmute yourself and talk. Okay, I'm going to stop the recording.